Hello everybody, I'm Clint with Flatwater, we're the manufacturers of the uh, Shark Hide Metal Protectant as well as the other Shark Hide products. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about how to take care of your Shark Hide once it's been applied. So a thing we notice with a lot of people on pontoon boats is uh, they tend to hang their bumpers extremely low on the side of the boat. What we're after is protection against the side of the boat, keep it from hitting other boats, docks, whatever. However, we don't want the bottom of the bumper to be able to strike the pontoon. What happens is when you get constant movement grinding away, it will eventually eat through the shark hide down here. So th this is, is really a no-no. You want this elevated to work against the rub rail. Now, here's the best way to judge. Now, I've taken this bumper and hung it a little bit higher. As you can see, it's just about centered in the rub, where, rub rail, but what we want to do any bumper placement at all, the simplest and best check of all, once you got it tied where you think it belongs, take the heel of your hand and push it hard against the boat. If it doesn't hit the pontoon itself, you're perfect. If it hits against the pontoon like this one does, that's not acceptable. You need to raise it up. So this is the proper bumper placement. You're going to get plenty of protection. Nothing can get to those pontoons, docks, other boats. This is sufficient. Do not hang them to where they bang against the pontoons. I'll show you some damage on another boat I've got in the back here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'd like to take you to the back of the boat and we're going to address how you strap these boats down. All right, see you in a second. So here we are at the back of the boat now. We, were, we already talked about bumpers, the do's and don'ts. Now we get to uh, hauling them. You know, when you trailer your boat, typically you want to strap them down, you know, keep them from bouncing on the bunks and such, secure the boat. This is what you see mostly. This is just a, a, a typical way people strap their boats down. But the problem we have with this is this movement is going to end up sawing through the shark hide. It's going to scrape through it eventually, <clears throat> up in this area, down in this area. And what you're going to end up with are real nasty, dark, oxidized areas. Now, this is the way it comes from the boat dealer. You know, that's the way you pick it up. But we've got a better way for you to do this. And this is a real simple, a real simple matter of moving your straps around. Here, let's go look at that. Okay, so now we're on the side. This is how we want to configure our straps. Ideally, you want them in an ace. Uh, configuration that keeps the boat from wanting to move from left to right and then you also want them from the back leading forward that keeps forward pressure on the boat so it kind of keeps it settled down in the bunks right but the main thing is if you'll notice nothing touches any surface that has shark height on it now this is a new boat the gentleman that owned this boat uh, he just brought it to me right from the dealership and what he's gonna end up doing is he'll put a hole here just a simple half inch diameter hole is all you need to do, then this is where he's gonna hook and trailer it from this point forward. So now his shark hide won't be damaged, the boat will be even more secure than it was by holding it straight down. Right now what we're doing is uh, we're showing people some of the typical damage we see when somebody has shark hided their boat but they've neglected to take care of it. They don't uh, uh, tie it up properly, things like that. What you're seeing here is somebody relied on old fire hose style bumper systems nailed to the side of a dock. They relied on that to take care of their boat. And you can see where that cut through the shark hide, all the boat movement sawed through the shark hide. And you can see beautiful finish wherever there was shark hide remaining, but they ruined it here. And you can see it all the way down the boat. So this is what happens when you let your boat rub up against other items. That, that's a big no-no. That'll destroy your shark hide, and this is what you get. Now follow me around to the other side, and I'll show you what it looks like when you have your bumpers in the wrong location. All right, and what we have on this side, this is typical of bumpers being placed in the wrong location. Remember, at the beginning of this video, we talked about not to let them low enough to where they touch the pontoon. This is a perfect example of what happens when the bumpers hang too low. The surrounding metal's in great shape, but right where they let that bumper rub and saw, eventually it ate through the shark hide, and now we've got oxidation. Had they hung them in the right position, this boat would have been pristine. Thank you.